This tutorial is brought to you by Envato Elements. Hello video creators, welcome to StoryShim. In today's tutorial we're going to create this particle dissolving text in Adobe After Effects. You could use this as a title intro for a travel video for example, and you can use this in multiple directions as you can see here. And for this one we're going to start in Premiere Pro and then use dynamic linking to proceed in After Effects. Let me show you what I mean. Inside Premiere I've got this clip from Envado Elements on the timeline. I'm going to add some text on top of the video. We're going to use the Type tool for this, which you can find here, or you can hit the T key to enable it. And with the Type tool enabled, you can click anywhere in the program monitor and then start typing. And if you're done with typing, you can go back to the Selection tool to exit type mode. Next, we're going to head over to the Essential Graphics panel to adjust the text to our taste. First, I will change the font and we'll go for the Hurricane font. And next, I will change the size and also center the text. And let's also change the color of the text. Let's do something yellow or orange to match the background video. Ok, that's enough text adjustments for now, let's continue on in After Effects. We can do this by right clicking on the text layer and then select Replace with After Effects Composition. This will automatically start up After Effects, if you have this installed of course, and then prompt you with the question where to save your file. Now you can select the folder where you would like to save the project file and then click Save. Inside After Effects we've now got the same text imported as an essential graphics layer on the timeline. Now the first step that we're going to do is copying or duplicating this layer. You can duplicate the layer by hitting Ctrl or Command plus D. Now we've got two identical layers, make sure you've got the top one selected and then head over to the effects panel. In there we're going to search for the CC composite effect, you'll find this one under channel. I'll apply this effect to the text layer and also search for the CC Particle Systems 2 effects and also apply this one to the text. If I scrub to the timeline you can see the first results of the particle effect that we just applied. And next we're going to adjust this effect inside the effects control panel. In here we've got a lot of controls for this effect, but we'll start with the birth rate. This one controls how much particles are emitted, the higher the number the more dense it gets. For this demo I'm going to increase this to 20 and it will look like this. Next we've got longevity, this will control how long the particles exist. And in this case around 4 seconds should be more than enough. Next we'll look at producer, this will specify the location where the particles originate. Radius, X controls the width of the particle source, in this case this should be very narrow, so we'll set it to 0.5. And with radius Y we can set the height of the particle source. To achieve the dissolve effect we need to cover the text from the top to the bottom, in this case 24 would be sufficient. And of course this can be different in your project depending on the height of your text. In the next step I'm going to enable keyframes for the position of the particles by clicking on the stopwatch icon here. And for the first keyframe we're going to set the horizontal value to 0. And this will move the particles all the way to the left of the frame. Next I'm going to move a couple of frames forward and then change the position value to 3840. And as you can see, this will move the particles all the way to the right of the frame. And by the way, I'm using 3840 because this is a 4K composition. If you use a Full HD composition, then this should be 1920. And now if I scrub through the timeline, you can see the animation that we just created with these two keyframes. Before we continue with the next steps, I first want to tell you about Envado Elements, the sponsor of this video. It doesn't matter if you create videos for a living or just for a hobby, you need to know about Envado Elements. And that's because they offer millions of high quality assets for your video projects, all within one single subscription. And this includes stock video, music and sound effects, fonts, video animation templates and much more. I've got my own paid subscription for a couple of years now and I still visit the website multiple times a week for many of my projects. So I can highly recommend you to give it a try if you like to create videos. If you use my temporary discount link in the video description, you can try them out for a couple of dollars. But of course, after you finished watching this tutorial. Ok, let's now move on to the physics part. First we'll set animation to direction. In my opinion, this option will give the animation the most natural look. Next we'll play around with the velocity option. This will control how fast the particles move. For this one I want the particles to move nice and gentle, so I'm going to set this to 0.7. So now with the animation type set to direction and a lower velocity, the animation will look like this. Next we're going to look at the gravity option. 
If you use a positive value, then the particles will fall down. But if you use a negative number, then the particles will rise up and act a bit like smoke. And that is exactly what we want for this effect, so I'm going to set this one to minus 0.3. We can leave all the other physics settings to the defaults for now and then move on to the particle section. And in here we first want to enable the checkbox for source alpha inheritance. With this option enabled, the particles will only be emitted at the point where the characters are visible. And that will look like this. And finally, the last step for the particles is changing the colors. I'm going to pick the same color as the text for the birth color, and for the dead color I'm going to pick something grayish. Ok, let's have a quick look at what we've created so far. In the final step of this tutorial we're going to make the text disappear as if it is dissolved by the particles. And to achieve this we're going to apply an effect called Linear Wipe. We're going to apply this effect to the bottom text layer. Then I'm going to select both layers and then hit the U key to reveal all the keyframes. And then I'm going to match the keyframes of the linear wipe with the ones from the particle animation. And now as you can see the keyframes are perfectly synced. The only problem is that the text gets revealed. We want the text to disappear, so we need to change that. And to do this we need to change two things. The first one is changing the angle. So let's open up the effect properties and then change this from minus 90 to 90 degrees. And second, we've got transition completion. The keyframes now move from 0 to 100. We can simply swap the keyframes to go from 100 to 0 and this will make the text disappear. And now, as you can see, the text will disappear in sync with the particles. However, we still do have a bit of a rough edge here, but we can fix this by increasing the feather in the options of the linear wipe effect. And then finally it will all look very smooth like this. And that was the final step in After Effects. Let's now move back to Premiere. And as you can see, because we used dynamic linking, it's all perfectly synchronized within Premiere. Of course it's not mandatory to start in Premiere, but I'm just showing you this because I know that a lot of you like to start in Premiere. Of course you could also just start in After Effects and then export the video with an alpha layer to create some transparency. And another option would be to export this as a motion graphic template to be reused inside Premiere. Of course, a lot more can be said about exporting motion graphic templates, but that would be a topic for another video. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see a dedicated video on exporting motion graphic templates in After Effects. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, you might also want to check out one of these videos. And as always, thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.